do you ever compare yourself to others? Yeah, I do too. Today we're going to talk about three reasons why comparing yourself to others is a waste of time. So stick around. Hey there, my name is Wayne Riz and on this channel we're walking the journey towards Jesus together. So today we're talking about comparison. We're going to talk about why you should stop comparing yourself to others. Why you should focus on yourself and just focus on your own journey. So let's jump right into reason number one. Comparison focuses on what they have that you don't have. It makes it so that we can't be content or we can't be happy, we can't be joyful in what we have because we're always looking at what somebody else has. It steals our joy. I've heard a quote on the internet, it's probably attributed to Abraham Lincoln or Benjamin Franklin that comparison is a thief of joy. So when we compare ourselves to others, we forget to look at the good things we have because we only look at what we want that somebody else has. So I can do that with different uh, YouTubers that I like and admire that inspire me. Justin Koop from That Christian Blogger, I love his stuff, but if I compare my stuff to his stuff, I don't have the views and the engagement that he does, and that can be discouraging if I'm not focusing on what I do have. A couple other guys, Peter McKinnon and Maddie from Travel Fields, that, that truly do inspire me and I love learning from them, but I have to be careful about that line between learning from them and comparing myself, because when I compare myself, it takes the focus off what I'm doing. Right now I'm embarrassed because people just watch me be an idiot, so let's get some B-roll. So I ran out of battery and stopped flying the drone right as it started sprinkling and raining because it's the Northwest and it's spring. That is what it does. The number two reason that we shouldn't compare ourselves to others is that we don't know all the facts. And right now I'm torn because I saw a sign that says Portland Burgers and also the train is coming that I'm supposed to get on and it's like lunchtime. I really, really don't know what I'm going to do. I think I have time that I can catch the next train in 15 minutes if I get a burger. I can also get a burger when I get back to Hillsboro. I'm quite torn. I got on the train. I hope that I made the right choice. Maybe I'll try that burger next time when I know it's there. So we don't we don't know what somebody else has gone through to get to where they are. So when we compare ourselves, we're looking at everything that we know about us, but only that little bit that we see about somebody else. Like me and Bo Duke and our hood slides. He may be better, but he also probably practiced a lot more. See, I don't see all the determination and effort and the, the work that went into somebody else's product. So if I compare myself what I see of them it's not really fair because I'm comparing what I know of me to their finished product that they're willing to show the world so we need to look at how we're doing how we can get better at what we're doing being inspired by others without looking at where they are and letting that deter us from getting to where we need to be I am going to get better at that hood slide though so both of you better watch out but right now it's time to get home eat some lunch that's really loud and pick up my son from school As it turns out, Bo Duke doesn't hood slide when he gets out of a car like I thought he did. He hood slides when he's in a hurry and he needs to get in the car.
So the last thing about not comparing yourself, God made you to be you. You're not going to be the best Peter McKinnon, you're not going to be the best whoever's a great skateboarder, you're not going to be the best whoever's a famous artist, I should know these things, but God made you to be you. So spend time praying, find out what God has called you to do, and do that as best as you can. Continue to grow, improve, be inspired by others, but never compare yourself to where they are. Thank you so much for checking out the video this week. You can give a thumbs up if you want to. Leave me a comment. Let me know something that you're working on that you're trying to get better at, that you're just going to be the best you at. Down in the comments below, take care, Polar Bear.